AUB President Dr. Fadlu Khouri has been exceptionally supportive of the USAID HES program and has placed diversity, equity, and inclusion on campus among his top priority. I would like to present Dr. Khouri to give his remarks. Thank you very much. Uh, my thanks to Dr. Harous and the uh, team here, which really the USP team does extraordinary work. Madam Ambassador, Julie, friends, deans, provost, uh, it's a wonderful day today. At least this part is wonderful, and what's happening at AUB is wonderful. But I'm hoping that with the empowerment of the graduates in this class, more days will be wonderful for many more people. It's a pleasure to stand to celebrate with great pride the achievements of our higher education scholarships. Today, we not only recognize your academic successes, but also affirm our and your commitment to the transformative power of education and the principle of equal opportunity. As Nelson Mandela famously said, and some have just quoted him, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. This is a man who spent a quarter of a century imprisoned, and he held on to the highest principles, and he believed that the way to heal the wounds of South Africa, which was the cause for many of our generation in the US and, and, and the West, was through education. This is a period of unprecedented economic instability, political uncertainty, and social upheaval in Lebanon. Even the war didn't see such a growth in the gap between those who have and those who do not have. But at this point, we believe that doubling down on education, on equal opportunity, is the only long-term investment that has to be made day after day. I can't overstate how important this is. Scholarship programs like this one are about much more than financial aid. They're lifelines of hope guiding our brightest minds towards beginning to fulfill their fullest potential. And I want to emphasize the word beginning. You are starting your journey. When you take your degree, most of you will take your degree in 10 days, you are starting your journey to make this a better world for all. And God knows this region needs to become part of a better world for all. The challenges are significant, they're complex, there is no easy solution out there. If there were, many of us would have pointed it out. But we believe with every fiber in our beings that it's through empowering our youth that we will ultimately find the long-term way forward. I'm certain that there's nothing that you, our dear graduates, cannot take on. The HES program enables you to pursue your dreams without the burden of financial constraints. And this is part of a strategic pivot for the university to become much more diverse and much more inclusive. Over the almost decade since we started, we've gone from having 46% of our students receive an average of 29% financial aid to 89% of our students receiving some financial aid, with 65% of them averaging 55% financial aid or greater. A quarter of the students that you graduate with will at some point received education at AUB for free. And no one has contributed more to that support, particularly over the last five years, than USAID. So you are now, you have gone from people who sought education to part of the privilege, the people who need to further your knowledge, further your education, so that you can make a difference in this world. Over the years, as you saw briefly in this video, our HES scholarships Scholarships have led people to pursue the path of excellence for the greater good. They've built up your resilience. And we've seen young folks who are determined and committed to making a positive change in the world. Your academic achievements, your community service, which is at the core of this program, and your leadership roles exemplify the potential that can be unlocked in you and in future generations. So you're not just the recipients of highly prestigious, highly competitive scholarships. 
your future citizens, future leaders, innovators, and change makers. As Malala Yousafi, who is a victim, who took her victimhood and became empowered once said, one child, one teacher, one book, one pen can change the world. And you are those children, those teachers, those books, and those pens. You are our living proof of that. You're not just bright young individuals who had privilege, but you are agents of change. Never forget that. Since the inception of the HES program at AUB in 2011, we've witnessed its expansion and its profound impact. The unwavering support of USAID, which is AUB's longest supporter, and the generosity of the American people have enabled hundreds of students from diverse backgrounds to benefit from an AUB education. And you've benefited from that American support of an AUB education, not to be indoctrinated in political dogma. You've been the beneficiaries of that to understand the importance of citizenship, of freedom of speech, of the rights of all. This partnership between AUB and USAID exemplifies how in international cooperation and shared universal values can create tangible benefits, not only for individuals, but for societies at large. The American University of Beirut has always been dedicated to fostering critical thinking, promoting diversity, and ensuring inclusive opportunities. Thank you for the shout out on, on DEI. I will say that as campuses in the US are retreating from DEI, we are further emphasizing it because we believe, like this country, which has weathered a lot of storms, our strength lays in our diversity. Our collaboration with USAID is a manifestation of these values, of both of our commitments to diversity. Today, in 2024, you will go out into a world full of challenges, full of problems, full of reasons for you to despair, to be angry, but you're trained to reject that despair, to reject that anger, to know that you can make a change for the better. Yesterday, we accepted a child, five years old, wounded in Gaza, to AUBMC. He will be the first of many. And by the end of his, thank you. And, and this child came terrified with his, because of his previous hospital experience. At the end of his stay, his first night in the hospital, far from his long stay, and he has major work to, to be done. He said, this is something different than anything I've seen. Now at five, he shouldn't have seen the things he's seen. And when you leave AUB, you will recognize it is something different than what you have seen. But you need to also be different than what the world has seen so far. That is our investment in you. That is the USA investment in you. That is the American people's investment in you. And it intertwines with your parents and your loved ones' investments in you. So graduates, today, I want to extend my heartfelt congratulations to you and to your teachers. Your journey has been marked by perseverance, dedication, and an unwavering commitment to excellence for the greater good. You've shown that with the right support and opportunities, there is no limit to what you're capable of. You embody the mission of AUB and the hope for a brighter future for us all. But I want to close by saying you didn't get here alone. Your teachers, your parents, your siblings, your loved ones, they were here with you. And I'm going to ask you, our upcoming graduates, to stand up and to thank them. Stand up, and turn around, and thank them. To our partners at USAID, Ambassador Johnson, Julie, friends, we extend our most profound gratitude for your continued support and partnership, for our shared belief in the transformative power of education. Your generosity and commitment helps us to ensure that these extraordinary people who come through our halls for four, five, seven years will go out and make the world better for everyone. Thank you and congratulations.
USAID came forward at a very difficult time to provide additional financial support for our graduate student body, for our general student body, and it has now provided another significant amount for the coming years. In addition to that, the USAID HES program in AUB is AUB's largest comprehensive undergraduate scholarship program in terms of funding and number of students. Without this support, many students wouldn't have had the opportunity to continue their studies at AUB or even be AUB students and graduates. And we are grateful for everything that USAID has done for us. We are thrilled to have with us today Her Excellency Lisa Johnson, the U.S. Ambassador. Join me, please, in welcoming her on stage. Good afternoon. Uh, thank you, Dr. Khoury, for your exceptional leadership here at American University of Beirut. It's a privilege to be here with all of you as we celebrate the graduation of 76 AUB students from the Higher Education Scholarship Program. Thank you to all the distinguished AUB faculty and staff who helped make this day possible. But today is about you, the graduates, and now for you. Today's ceremony marks years of hard work and dedicated scholarship. Your achievements have been incredible. I learned that over half of you have earned a place on the Dean's Honor List each semester. That is amazing. Uh, many of you pursued exchange semesters abroad in places like Qatar, Switzerland, and the United States, expanding your horizons and gaining valuable experiences and new perspectives. So this is also the beginning of a new journey for each of you, filled with promise and opportunity. When I think back to my time in college, I dreamed of being able to represent my country, the United States, in the world. I imagined working with foreign diplomats and learning about people in different countries and their challenges and trying to make the world a better place for everyone. I think about how lucky I have been to be able to pursue those dreams. So many young people face significant barriers to doing the same, whether those barriers are a lack of access to well-paid jobs or lives that have been upended by, by crisis, conflict, and economic difficulties. So the United States support for programs like the Higher Education Scholarship Program administered by USAID, it represents an investment. We're investing in you because we believe in you and we believe in the role you will play in the partnership between Lebanon and the United States of America and in making the world a better place. So today we celebrate your academic brilliance, your scholarly dedication the past four years, and your determination to continue to rise. And we reaffirm the United States commitment to supporting more talented students like yourselves as they learn the skills you all need to become the next generation of leaders. The American University in Beirut has long been a trusted, valuable partner of the U.S. Embassy. For decades, this university and its graduates have been leading change, using change to change lives and change to change the world that we all live in. The U.S. Embassy and the American University of Beirut, we believe in your dreams and your ability to pursue the future that you want for yourselves. We believe in your ability to build a stronger, more prosperous, more stable, and happier Lebanon, and we look forward to celebrating your continued successes. Since 2010, the United States has invested over $100 million to provide full undergraduate scholarships at AUB to students from all of Lebanon's districts, all 26, including refugees, both Palestinians and Syrians. These scholarships have enabled 760 students to pursue a high quality education at an American accredited university. This is not a small investment for the United States and the American people. So I ask of you, uh, please pay it forward by finding ways to invest the skills and opportunities you've gained into endeavors that promote a brighter future for all the people of Lebanon and that build an even stronger relationship between our two countries. So here's what I hope I can leave you with today as you look ahead to your next chapter. Each of us are agents of change, no matter who we are, where we came from, or what we do in our lives. Each of you can contribute to a vibrant, more hopeful future and your contributions here in Lebanon have the potential to improve lives for generations to come. So today, I congratulate all of you, you soon to be graduating scholars, past and present, and together let us continue to invest in education in the AUB as catalysts for positive change. Let us hope the seeds that we plant today will blossom into a brighter future for everyone in the world. I thank you and Mabruk. <laughs> 